Hey, how are you? I hope things have been good. Yeah, we got an inside video today. Feels weird, I haven't done one of these in such a long time. And it's, uh, it's because well, I tried recording outside and it's so windy, it's like 20 miles per hour winds, and my camera just kept falling, so that was not happening. <laughs> if you can be in a bad mood for no reason, then you can be in a good mood for absolutely no reason. Which means if you can do something amazing and still have a shit day, you can do something that's kind of sucky and still have a good day. Change the way you think. It's all about that positive mindset. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. You see, there, there have been so many days where I've woken up in the morning and I'm tired. I'm just not in a good mood. It happens to all of us. But we just have days that it's just one of those days. You know, we just aren't feeling it. We're in a bad mood. And this happens. But after hearing that quote, or what I've just said, it made me sort of change my perception, the way that I thought. I want to tell you a story. A story that I deal with quite a lot. Quite a few days where I do this. Because uh, I don't know how to drive a car. Well, I can. Just not legally. But I drive a motorcycle. I have a license, so I can do that. And there have been so many times where I've been at work and I've come back and I'm on the bike ready to drive home and it's pouring in. I live in England, so it's pretty much always rainy or windy or, you know, it's England. So it's been pouring down and being on a motorcycle, you've got gear to protect you, but it's not. Eventually, the waterproof can't deal with so much and then you start getting drenched. And you know, I'm driving, it's pitch black, it's dark, it's cold, it's wet. And then I don't see this giant puddle, I drive into it and then I'm drenched, I'm soaked. My socks are wet now, you know how sucky that feels. You know, my legs are wet, my shoes are wet, they're gonna take a day to dry. I've got work tomorrow, I'm just sat there like cursing in my helmet. I'm like, fuck shit, this is so annoying to deal with. And then after, it's been like a couple of seconds, I start to realize whilst I'm driving, I can't do anything about this. This... I can't, this is a situation I cannot get out of. May as well have fun with it. And I start laughing in the helmet, almost as if I'm a psychopath, but I'm not, I swear. <laughs> I just start laughing in the helmet, just literally, I'm just screaming to the music that I'm playing in my in my head, was it in my helmet? Just blasting out the music. And I start driving through every single puddle I see. I'm getting drenched, soaked, but I do not care. I do not care. I'm having fun and it's just me on the road and I actually do really quite enjoy those times and in the beginning of the journey I'm hating it it's sucking a lot and this is what makes me realize that how important it is the way you think the way you think has a great impact and the thing is a lot of us don't have this positive sort of thinking because it's hard a lot of us have adapted into this quite negative set style of thinking, this negative mindset. Don't worry, this isn't just you, this is me as well. I was the exact same as you. I was the exact same as you. And to actually be and get into a positive mindset, you have to be grateful. And that is something that we don't do a lot. It's hard. That's why one of the things that I'm going to say, which I could recommend to you, is one of the best things. And that is gratitude journaling. I know I say this a lot, I've said this quite a lot on my recent videos, but I just that's just how much I want to emphasize how important like this habit has been to me. If, if I had to make a choice between gratitude journaling, which is where you write 10 things that you're grateful for in the morning or whenever during your day, but I do it in the morning. You just write down 10 things you're grateful for. That takes you like 10 minutes, less than that. If I had to choose between gratitude journaling or meditating, I would choose gratitude journaling because that's had a bigger impact. Obviously, I'm going to do both because I love both and both have been super helpful. Gratitude journaling has just had that much of an effect on my life because it literally almost forces you to try and think positively. And it's really weird. If you actually write, like pause the video and just try to write 10 things you're grateful for right now, whether it's in notes or on a notepad or like you just try and think, literally pause the video and do this now and then come back. Okay, so now it's been a moment. It's quite hard, isn't it? It's actually really hard your first time trying to write down 10 things you're grateful for it's difficult i remember when i first wrote the 10 things i'm grateful for actually wait i can find it in my i've got my scripts like down here on my lap no peeking so this is like the beginning of the book so the very first page you won't be able to see it because it's a bit far away so gratitude journal one 
2nd of the 8th, 2022. I'm grateful for my laptop. I'm grateful for my colleagues. I'm grateful for D DC47, which is a dude who was teaching me how to trade. This is when I was uh, doing a lot of um, forex trading and day trading. I'm grateful for Meta T4, which is what I used to trade. I'm grateful for my free time. I'm grateful for disappearing for two years. I'm grateful for trading. I'm grateful to learn. I'm grateful for my room. That is the very first 10 things that I wrote that I'm grateful for. And they're kind of random. They're kind of random. And that's because I found it really hard. I found it really hard to find 10 things I'm grateful for. It's not easy to be grateful. And because of this, the reason that gratitude journaling is so good, the, because it is so hard, when you actually start trying to think of more things to be grateful for, you're really thinking like, all right, what else could I be grateful for? Th th this mic, uh, this chair, the pen that I write with, my friends at school. Like, it, it, You're gonna start actively looking for more things to be grateful for. And then guess what? You are already doing it. You're actively forcing your mind to think more positive things. You're already thinking more positive than you were literally a moment ago. Literally the beginning of this video, compared to the end of this video, you're already thinking more positive if you actually paused the video and did the gratitude journaling. That is how much of a difference gratitude journaling can make in your life. Genuinely, if there's one thing that you do, I, this is what it is. It's one of the four pillars of self-improvement. I'll have a video on that I'm coming out in the next few days. That's a whole nother topic to get into. I've been trying to do longer videos, so if you enjoyed this and this helped you out, I'm glad. And another video will pop up in the corner on my face here. I would be really appreciative if you clicked on this because that video could also help you out as well. And if you haven't subscribed to me, then there's a chance you will never ever find this channel again. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, self broom kiss. Mwah. I look so greasy, but it's because of my lighting in my room. I'm used to filming outside, okay? <laughs>